This is Dawa Nigeria. Likewise, the slaughtering of the, the, the ram for the one who is uh, uh, capable of doing that. Now, this is not compulsory according to the uh, opinion of majority of the scholars. However, some scholars said it is compulsory. But what most scholars are upon is that it is not compulsory. Why? Because there is no any text from the Prophet that shows that it is compulsory. Now there is a hadith from Abu Yardallahu Anhu uh, ascribed to the Prophet Sallallahu that he says that man kana la usa'atun wa lam yudahi falai qarabanna musallana Whoever has the ability to slaughter and doesn't slaughter should not come near our prayer ground. This hadith, according to what the Muhaqqikun have said, the hadith is not authentic. As for those scholars who authenticated it, like Sheikh Al-Bani and some others, they said it is compulsory for one uh, to slaughter. Because the hadith says whoever has the ability to slaughter, and he doesn't slaughter, he should not come near our prayer ground. So that means it is compulsory. But this hadith is said to be uh, a statement of uh, Abu Urad al-Lain. Who some scholars said who is not authentic from Abu Urad al so that's why the Kibar Sahaba, Abu Bakr, Umar, and many others like that, Abu Masul, I'm sorry, all of them they were of the opinion that this is not authentic. That's why this is not composite. And that's why some of them refused to slaughter in some years. So that towards people will not see it as something that is composite. However, it is Sunnah Mu'akkada. It is Sunnah Mu'akkada, an emphatic Sunnah, because the Prophet of Allah Sallam did it. Now, how many ram should be slaughtered? At least the ram is uh, sufficient for the whole family. Even if uh, we have an extended family, so to say, they are all living together, the ram will be sufficient on their behalf. But if they slaughter more than that, there is no arm as well. But what one should uh, have in mind is that when one wants to slaughter this, one is slaughtering for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One is slaughtering based on all the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that ma min ayyamin al-amal salih fi inna ahabu ila Allah min ashri min adhi ayyam. There is no, there are no days uh, uh, in which uh, good deeds are more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than these days, not with the intention of doing competition with the people, that people will know that, oh, my ram is the biggest, uh, people will know that oh, I bought the, the biggest camel or so on and so forth. No, the intention is, should be what? I want to draw near Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this lottery, not in order to show off as people will do today. So the one who does not have the ability to do it, there are so many other, other goodies that he can involve himself in, he can engage himself in. So is it advisable for one to also get low in order to get this ram? The answer is no. Scholars will not encourage one to get low in order to get, uh, in order to slaughter the Uri They will not encourage one to do that. Unless if one is very sure, huh? that one is likely to get the money uh, paid as early as uh, possible. But if one is not that sure for, for people to say, okay, he's been slaughtering before, but he, yeah, he's not slaughtering this year, so the person is now considering it from the people's view, not from, uh, he's not looking at it from the religious angle. So it's not advisable for one to get loans in order to slaughter. The one who has the ability should slaughter, and who does not have the ability shouldn't force himself, as we have in uh, our society today, that somebody may feel so bad, not because he's unable to do the religious rights. He will feel so bad because he doesn't, he doesn't want people to talk that, oh, he's been doing before, but he doesn't have the ability to do now. So it's because of the people not because he's so much interested in that Ibada. So we should make our intention, uh, make it uh, a genuine intention. 
how the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالْنِيَّاتِ The reward and the validity of actions will be based on the intentions with which they are done. Likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ مُخْلُسِينَ لَأُدِينَ You are not ordered to do anything except to worship Allah. مُخْلُسِينَ لَأُدِينَ Doing the deen, practicing the deen with sincerity, not because of any other thing. So this is also important.